What is up, YouTube? Got the motor vlog mic in. And I'm about to hit it up. I just started up, so I'm letting it warm up. Yeah, alright guys, let's go, neutral. Second gear here. Man, this bike is loud, I hope y'all can hear me. It's louder than most street bikes actually, this, these, race, these uh, race model dirt bikes. Freaking insane, dude. Even this 150. Stock exhaust. This is how it comes from the factory. Alright, wow. I gotta get used to the track. Haven't rode here in a bit. The last time I rode here was Friday. And today is Thursday. Whoa! Alright, she needs to warm up a bit more. Jesus Christ, yeah, she she's a bit um flicky. Touchy. Right now until she gets warmed up a bit. You know. Like when hit the gas when she's not warmed up, she tries to get they're in a bit more fuel than it used to be, so it's like... I'm just kidding, I don't know what the hell... I just said, it doesn't do that. <laughs> oh dude, this little pit bike track up here is kind of fun. Even though I'd rather not be riding this race bike up here. This thing's so touchy. Hope I'm not messing up my camera. Because it's in the frame mount, you know? guys this thing is all right first moto vlog that's what I needed to talk about today Thursday August 21st 82 MX Masters first ever moto vlog holy crap guys I've been waiting for this moment for a very long time and I'm having fun with it while I'm here, you know? Whoa, a little wheelie out of the turn. Sorry about hitting that tree, guys. I really, really need to clean that up. At least when I hit the tree, it doesn't have that, um, oh, like, loud clicking noise because it hits the tree because of the mic and the GoPro. Whoa! That was slip. Slick. Yeah, it doesn't have the mic in the GoPro, so when it hits the tree, you know, it doesn't cut in that you know what I'm talking about. I think. Oh I missed the break. Hit up some trails real quick. Oh, I haven't been on this trail with this bike yet. Holy balls, y'all. So many trees. Race bikes on trails, y'all. Overheat too quick. I need to get out of here. 
I mean, this bike doesn't overheat with the engine ice. It did when I when the guy that I bought it from only had water in it, and I was running it with only water. Yeah, if you don't have to, I don't recommend running your bike on water. Go to your cycle gear or your local motorcycle store and get you a good old pair. A good, not a good old pair. A um. Some engine ice, a bottle of engine ice. Yeah, so go get, go do that. Okay, that turn. It was on one of my Friday motor. I know I haven't posted it. I almost crashed in the turn, y'all. Freaking came out of the turn and my I did a little wheelie out of the turn, you know? And you can't steer your wheels in the air. And I almost hit that trampoline. So Yeah. Here we go. This needs to be longer. It's no fun with just this. I mean, it's, don't get me wrong. It's fun to ride a dirt bike, no matter where you are. All right, time for the pit bike jump. And I'm in neutral. Pit bike jump. Whoa, went a little nose heavy. Thanks, dude. This thing's loud. Whoa, y'all. Whoa, okay. Missed the little burn there. She washed out. I'm tired, dude. This track wears you out. It's so technical. It's like an enduro track. It really is like kind of an enduro track. Jesus, dude, that beats the heck out of you. These boots are great. O'Neill Elements, y'all. Go get yourself a pair. Cycle gear. Or wherever. You know, they sell boots. Go check them out. See if they sell these things. Cheap. 150 bucks. They're on sale. Cycle gear. I mean, 150 bucks is cheap for a pair of boots. We owe y'all that never owned the boots or had some cheap ones who got them for free or don't know how much boots cost. I need tires is what I really need more than freaking anything right now. They're bad. Like, when I say bad, like, they're not, like... Like, I don't have any, I barely have tread in the middle of your pattern, you know how you, there's a pattern on your tires. Well, I wonder if I'm getting out of gas, because you hear that? Whoa. Dude, my camera's in this frame mount, I'm scared. It's gonna get messed up. It's the only way I can do motor vlogging, unless I'm gonna cut a hole in my freaking waterproof case. Like I've seen the other motor vloggers do. I just don't have the money right now to freaking buy another waterproof case to do that because I want a waterproof one. I don't want to get a, rid of my waterproof one in the first place. So. You know. So I got the frame mount. Um, I know I'm probably not going to do motor vlogs like at Highland Park and stuff. With, especially with frame mounts, if I crash, 
my GoPro is going to be screwed. <sighs> it's hot. Alright. Enduro. Wow, that kicked my tire. Got a little hairpin here. Around the tree. Come back around. Oh, these roots. A little sketchy section. Alright, so here's the hairpin turn right here. Come back around. Alright, now here's a really sketchy turn around this tree. Whoa, missed the berm. See, the thing about the airbikes is it's not that easy to crash on tracks like this. Like mountain bike, if I would have hit that berm, I would have been done. I've actually done that before. Oh, do my arms. Definitely building for that berm for mountain biking. Building that up. Oh, y'all. Freaking knew it. All right, hopefully y'all can hear me. Don't think you got unplugged from the GoPro. All right, I'll be right back guys. 